Yeah.
Hm? Oh. Yeah. Walking for a while now. Want to take a break somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind some tea. <laughs> What's wrong, Namba? You've been awfully quiet. Nothing. Just my stomach's not feeling so great. Yeah, I'm thinking that room temp milk went bad. Anyway, I think it's getting better. Oh, all right. Just don't push yourself. Uh oh, nope. Do you think I'll be at peace in the afterlife? Oh. Yo, Namba's gonna blow! We gotta do something! Yeah, how about we abandon him here? I need a damn key. <laughs> Dragon card, huh? Sounds pretty fun. Oh, yeah? Is it bringing back all the thrills and excitement of the license center for you? Hey, what? What's exciting about a license center? Hey, now. Takes more than a couple of go-karts to get me that riled up. Oh, yeah? Well, what's it take, then? Driving without a license? Well, that'll just bring out the cop in me. No, if anything, I'd say the ID photo machine is where it's at. Right. Excuse me. Huh? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit. It's English. <laughs> 
Don't worry. What? That didn't do it, huh? Okay, let's see. Looks like someone needs to brush up on their English. Huh? <sighs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. Oh, all right. Thank you. You are welcome! <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh, this is a school? Ouna Barra Vocational, huh? Yep, been going here a while now. And guess how many certs I've racked up? Fifty! Fifty? For real? That's crazy! I have, like, none. You gotta change that, man! Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. Great! Then let's get you signed up right away. Uh, okay. Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> yeah. Say, who did you bring along? Oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. And, of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, wow! Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. It was nothing! It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. <laughs> So my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears. Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time, so don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide certified training for all kinds of job seekers and hobbyists alike. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome! We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? Anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. You got it. Man, my back is killing me. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way.
Which exam would you like to take? This one? Good luck! That should just about... Ooh, not bad. This good. What did you think of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. That said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you made your point. I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start. You gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old Shrubhead to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Mikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Uh, if you say so. Anyway, Kasuga-san. Welcome to the start of your future. Understand. Okay, well, please get in touch if you change your mind. Thank you. Bye. Good luck on your future endeavors. Yeah, at this rate, I don't have a future, period. Yo, Wakari! Huh? Oh, oh, no! Kasuga kun! <laughs> How much did you hear? Let's see. Uh, something about you not having a future? Great. So you know I'm pretty much screwed. This is bad. What will become of the elite, charming, cream of the crop persona I've been cultivating? Nobody sees you like that. Oh, hello there, you two. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah, Lakari's just down in the dumps, so I'm thinking about how to cheer him up. Whoa, 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 time out, Kasuka kun Shut up about that! He's just kidding me, Akoshi-san. It's really nothing serious. Everything's fine as can be. Uh, okay. Anyway, Kasuka-kun, were we about to get going? We had some kind of, uh, a tea thing planned. Wait, what tea thing? <laughs> You're hilarious, you know that? Well, off we go. <sighs> 
this up. Get all back, Akari. I was only jealous of how smart you are. Okay? Oh, yeah. And if you still want a job, I'll put in a word for you back at the office. No bullshit this time. <laughs> I think whatever company would hire goons like you is bound to go under quick. So I respectfully decline. Well said, Akari. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Come on! Sorry to echo your line, but these guys deserved it. I can see that. Thanks, Kasugakun, for bailing me out big time. Nah, you're always the one bailing me out. So how could I ignore a friend in his time of need? <laughs> you know, at first I thought you were kind of lame, but it turns out you're a really good guy. If I ran a company, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. Here's a little something from me. Hope it comes in handy. What's the plan from here on out, Akari? I think I'm gonna stay the course and keep job hunting. That and vocational ed. I may not march to society's drum, but nothing will improve if I give up. And even though I've been knocked down by 99 companies, I've got a mountain of certificates to break my fall. So I'll just get back up and have at it. As long as I believe in myself, I can keep going. Hey, <laughs> listen to you. You got way more going on than you thought. Trust in yourself, and you can't go wrong. Right. So, what's the lucky hundredth company you're applying to next? Oh, it's, uh, some place called Ichiban Holdings. Uh huh? I've never really heard about it till now. 
Apparently it's this local organization that's all about giving back to the community. Oof. Yeah, uh, the thing is... What, you wanna apply together? You do look like the type who's barely scraping by. Hey, maybe you could use me as a reference. Listen, I own that company. Huh? I'm the president, man. Uh, uh, forgive my errant tongue and slovenly demeanor, future boss! Dude, what's your problem? I'll do anything! Anything, just say it! Want your shoes licked? Okay! Stop acting like a dumbass for once! See, this is why nobody wants to hire you. Gotta say, that Mahjong parlor was different. I felt kind of fancy being in there. Maybe I just like being called Kaskasama. Today was quite productive, President Kasuga. You can stop that any time now. Why can't you act like a normal person? I, I, yeah, you're right. Uh, let's be open with each other, Kasuga-kun. So, you still gonna keep on coming here? Oh yeah, these certificates are more than just access to jobs. They're proof of my life's work. That's not something I'd want to give up. Besides, you could say I have a special someone here. Oh, really? Who's your special someone, Ikari-san? Uh, uh, no... Uh, that... Uh, no one. No one's my special someone. I mean, no one's special to me. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, okay. <sighs> anyway, it'd be better for you, too, if I stayed here. I mean, who else are you gonna turn to when you need help? Ah, yeah, good point. You do help me out a lot, man. <laughs> Don't mention it. After all, you're my boy. <laughs> Damn straight. Aww. This could get rough. locations for a movie I saw last year. Lover of Hama, I think. You guys seen it? Nah, never really got the chance back when I was on the force. If I had enough money for a movie, I had enough money for cheap sake. And I was still in prison last year, remember? Get I asked. Oi! Yo. Eh? Yep. Mission in pair. Right. Try this on your side. Get this one. You're in it now. Yeah. Watch this. 
それじゃあ、はあ、うんそうです。それでは。OK Finally found you. Baseball, huh? Well, that takes me back. You play baseball, Namba? Ah, that was nothing special. But I did go out to a few tournaments when I was a kid. That's awesome, man! Think you can give me some pointers on my swing? Oh, God. All right. But first, you gotta shift your weight to your front and get a nice, relaxed stance going. Uh-huh. You want the ball to land right at the end of the bat, not the sweet spot. That's your best point of impact. Right, okay. Wait, uh-huh. Now the moment the ball hits the bat, pull back on your swing and watch that puppy roll. Roll? Yep. That's the secret to the perfect bunt. The perfect bunt? Man, don't you have any tips on how to hit home runs? Do I look like a big hitter to you? No. I was only there for the all-important sacrificial bunt. Oh. Figures. <laughs>
Hold on. Arigato na. Yo. Leave it to me. D hey, dude, have you lost it? Just leave me alone. Wait, don't I know you? A guy from the red light district. Uh... You're Mr. Masochist, right? So you've heard of me before. Mostly just rumors from a fetish club. Anyway, I'm Kasuga. Kasuga-san, is it? I'm Soda Makinohara. Most people simply call me Mr. Masochist. Uh-huh. So, why were you headbutting a tree just now? Because I want to feel. I want to hurt. Oh, right. I heard something like that from the club owner. About how you can't feel pain anymore. That would be correct. As a true glutton for punishment, I've spent many a night getting beaten half to death. By beautiful women in leather, might I add. But that's beside the point. As the months turned into years, my senses began to dull. Eventually, I felt nothing. Happiness is fleeting, as they said. Dang. I know I started the conversation and all, but I can't relate to that. Like, at all. Here's who I really am. A man with a body unyielding, lusting for pain, yet never receiving. At least I built up muscle. They'd leave me twisted like a pretzel overnight sometimes. <laughs> Alas, I suppose this is no laughing matter. You're telling me. Which brings us to the tree. I thought it would hurt if I smashed it with my head. And did it? No. I felt stronger pain from a mosquito's embrace. Wow. It sounds like you've been through a lot, man. I don't know what to say. Much as I'd like to help, I should probably get going. Wait! Why don't you just hear me out? I noticed that you have a pretty solid physique, though it pales in comparison to mine. Uh, okay. Uh, preference for whip ladies aside, I wish to test my endurance out on you. Beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So let me ask you, Kasuga-san. 
Will you strike me with everything you have? You want me to hit you? Yes. If it hurts, there's still hope. Use whatever tools you have at your disposal. Gang up on me if you have to. You asked for it. And trust me, we ain't no mosquitoes. All right. Then come at me! That's enough. Chan. 
When's your birthday? Hmm? Oh, it's April 7th. Oh, yeah? And what's your favorite food? Hey, he's not flirting with her, is he? Cute girls are kind of his downfall, and Eri-chan definitely fits the bill. All right, I got it. Eri-chan, you're a Black Panther. Huh? A Black Panther? That's a little fortune-telling trick that gives you an animal based on your birthday and interests. I'm a chihuahua myself. Ooh, and hey, you and I are a good match. Holy shit, is he really using the oldest trick in the book? Right? Fortune-telling flirting is really dating him. Mmm, actually, I prefer pandas. Wouldn't you rather be a panda? Huh? Well, I, I don't know about that. I mean, it, that's not really what I'm getting at. Oh, that's too bad. Ah. Wow, talk about striking out. And a chihuahua? Seriously? Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Right. Uh, yeah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. What's up, Sachan? Looking kind of down there. Oh, Ichiban. Something happened on the phone? Just uh, more Nanoha drama. I'm starting to get all too clear a picture of that jerk she's dating. Oh, yeah. Katsuragawa, right? The consulting guy, or whatever. The girls from the club looked into him? They saw him with Nanoha on a date. Look at this picture they took. And that's Nanoha and Katsuragawa? Yeah. Doesn't he look shady as hell? What is she thinking? Hey, I get what you're saying, but you can't judge someone just from the way they look. Okay, take a look at this picture then. See the guy in the background with the sunglasses? His name's Yamashita, and he's like the bodyguard in Katsuragawa's creepy little posse. Bringing a bodyguard on a date? Yeah, that's definitely out of the ordinary. You think? And to make matters worse, the girls told me the conversation he had with Nanoha. It was 100% bad news. I'm sure Katsuragawa has it in for her. What do you mean? What did you girls hear? Katsuragawa's consulting firm isn't doing so hot right now, so he wants to borrow money from Nanoha. How much? Two million. He decided a date was a good time to ask for a huge loan? <laughs> I think even I've got more game than this guy. But anyway, Nanoha said no, right? I mean, she needs that money to support her dad. Actually, when my dad switched facilities, Nanoha found out she had a little more spending money. Apparently, she's already lent him 500,000, and now he's asking for 2 million more! Seriously? Good. Even if Nanoa has that much to spare, she should be saving it for her future. And Katsuragawa knows that. But somehow, he found out Nanoha used to work at Orohime Land. He did? So he asked her to go back and start making bank again. What? And this is the guy who didn't even bother to help her when she was in trouble. In fact, I think he basically stopped calling her right after Dad started to need round-the-clock care. But now that that's dealt with, and Katsuragawa knows about Nanoha's stint at the Soapland, he's trying to schmooze his way back in. I mean, Nanoha's not an idiot. She can always just change the subject whenever he asks for money, can't she? Don't you remember how she wanted to go out with him way back when I first said no? She was head over heels for him back then. I don't know how she feels now, but... It sounded like she held off on saying yes or no, but I'm afraid she might actually go back to the soap land. You think so? Damn, this guy's a piece of work. If he really does roll with a biker gang, it must be as the shit stuck on their tires. What other kind of guy would be pushing his girlfriend to work at a soap land? To cover for his failures! So you're having the exact same thoughts as me. Nice to know I'm not crazy. Crazy? Sajon. Even if he wasn't such a bastard, Nanoha could still do better. We gotta get him away from her, before she gets scammed and hung out to dry. But Nanoha never listens to me. She's not about to start now.
How long has it been since you tried convincing her to break up with Katsuragawa? Seven, eight years, right? Yep, and it sparked the huge fight. What exactly did you say to her back then? I don't actually remember too well. It got heated so fast. Well, what if that was the problem? What? When you use strong emotions to try to persuade someone, they just give you strong emotions right back. What if this time you kept it cool and gave her a few good logical reasons to dump Katsuragawa? Act like you're neutral about it, you know? You're right. If I get myself or her all worked up, it'll only make it harder for her to think clearly. That's great advice. Thank you. I'll lay it all out calmly this time. Great. Do that, and don't give up. Sorry to make you listen to all my family drama, Ichiban. It's no problem. I care about Nanoha too. She's my ex-co-worker after all. Still, thanks. No way is this over. Wonder what'll happen. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just as nosy as Sachan. Dachi-san, what's up with the suit? Oh, don't you remember? We're doing that out-of-court settlement. Oh, yeah, Takashi-kun scraped that guy's bumper. And he demanded Takashi-kun pay him a million yen, so you decided to meet with the guy. Hoping he's just a damn con man. Wearing a suit to the settlement, huh? You really care about this kid, Adachi-san. Well, there's one more reason I was thinking I should look sharp today. You know how I sent a letter to Takashi asking for the contact info of the car owner? Takashi wrote back and said he wanted to be there when I meet the guy. Guess he finally wants to see his daddy long legs in person. <laughs> After 20 years of being sent money and all. You know, that whole time I came up with excuses to never meet Takashi. I, I just sent him letters. So Takashi kun's gonna meet Yamada san for the first time today? Yeah. I figured the least I could do is look the way a big shot should. Except, even though it is a suit, it's pretty plain for a rich guy, ain't it? Oh, give me a break, man. This is all I had. Anyway, I explained what's gonna go down here to the staff, so we're good on that front. Only thing left for me to ask is if uh, you're willing to stay and back me up, Kasuga. Why me? Well, a real daddy long legs would have a lackey with him, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Come on, don't make me deal with this asshole and the kid all by myself. Please, man. Fine. But when you interviewed Takashi 20 years ago, it was in person, right? What if he remembers your face? He was five years old at the time. No way he would remember me. Especially now that I probably look like his damn grandpa. Here's hoping. Excuse me, is Yamada-san here? Are, are, are you Takashi? Yes, I am. Wow. Look at you, all grown up. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 it's just, <laughs> I still imagine you the way I did when we first started writing each other 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm Yamada. We finally meet Yamada-san. Thank you so much for supporting me all this time. Oh, I just enjoy lending a hand, promising kids like you. That's, <laughs> that's what a philanthropist does. So why are we meeting here? What is this place? No, it's a, a, a bar I run as a hobby. I'm a... <clears throat> I'm a big jazz guy. So you're also a patron of the arts. Amazing. <laughs> and who are you? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm... Yamada-sama's secretary. 
You have a secretary too? You're even more loaded than I thought. Oh yeah, I always have my secretary come with me when I negotiate deals. He's a, <laughs> he's a sharp cookie. Uh, how are you assuring? <sighs> now, Takashi-kun, where's the owner of this car you scraped? His name is Hasegawa-san. He should be here soon. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Asking me to come all the way out here to a dive like this? All I can say is you better have my money. There's a few things I'd like to ask you first, Hasegawa-san. Oh, you must be Daddy Longlegs. What do you want? Why are you demanding one million for a scratch bumper? Because this is no ordinary car. Oh, is that right? I don't know much about cars, but it looked pretty ordinary to me. <laughs> it may look like a typical sedan, but it's actually a top-of-the-line British luxury car. And now I have to send it back to England for repairs! Right. Mind telling us how the accident went down? Well, I was just sitting there, waiting for the signal, and this kid here, barely paying attention to what he's doing, of course, just pulls up right next to me on his bike. That's when his pedals scraped up against my bumper! Takashi-kun, does all of that sound right to you? I guess. I didn't feel like I hit anything. I mean, I felt the hem of my pants sliding along something, but... Ha! I wish it'd been the hem of your pants! When I heard the scraping sound, I looked over just in time to see your pedal gouging the hell out of my paint job! Really? Well, that's funny. What is? If it was a regular sedan, all you'd be able to see from the driver's seat would be the hood. No way you'd see the bumper down below. Oh, in my car, you can see it. Steering wheel's on the left, you know. You obviously don't know much about foreign luxury cars. On the left, huh? That's even funnier. Didn't you say the car was from England? Did you know, British and Japanese cars both have the wheel on the right? Uh, uh, you might want to come clean before you dig yourself a deeper hole. I say the mark on the bumper was already there, and the car is about as British as me. So what'll it be? Admit you were trying to pull a fast one and we'll let you go. But if you decide you want to keep bitching over nothing, then my secretary here will have to intervene. By the way, I'm not just Yamada-sama's secretary. I'm also his bodyguard. Ah, fuck! So, it really was all a scam. And a shitty one at that. Wait, Yamada-san, did you know it was a scam from the start? Uh, more or less. One million ain't much to a guy like me, of course, but uh, us rich folks don't like our money going to criminals. We gotta do our part, you know? Wow, rich people are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that we are. So, how about that bar exam, Takashi? Think you'll pass this year? Well, actually, I found out I didn't. Oh. That's a shame. But you know, the average age of the people who do pass is 29. So I figure as long as I pass it by then, I'm good. <laughs> Isn't that, uh, four years from now? Yeah, and when I do become a lawyer, you'll be the first to know, Yamada-san. Ah! Looking forward to it. Thanks. I have some studying to do today, so I'm gonna get going. Hang in there. Four more years of sending money. Oh, man, that's gonna be tough. Here's hoping it only takes four years. Wait, what do you mean? If he's getting caught up in a simple scam like this, how's he supposed to understand the finer points of law? Hey, now, don't be like that. No, he's just too honest, is all. And who knows, maybe he'll pass next year. I sure hope so. Well, either way, at least he bought my rich guy act. <laughs> yeah, well, we can thank my little performance for that. Your performance? I was the one with the starring role. If there... You know what? For it, whatever, man. Let's just celebrate the fact that we pulled it off. Yeah, with the cheapest drinks money can buy. This one's a real classic. I've been a fool And you've been childish You fell down 
You got her chasing sweeter dreams Never could hide the truth in your eyes That's how I knew that smile was a lie I love you is something you never say Couldn't get it out, always just pulled away so then why, please won't you tell me why You could find the words to say goodbye I'm such a mess, I'm lost, I'm no good at this I'm in love, still in love, still in love with you Heart is a try, I can't even drink this pain away Memories of you Twisting my view I've been a fool 